this is an attempt to get some good wording to this. Not that God itself or God himself, whatever you want to call, it's not a him or an it, it's, it's all. But by having the experience of seeing where we came from, not just be, like, as human beings or before human beings or ancient races or any of that kind of stuff, before there was time. That experience of all billions and trillions of incarnations and that kind of stuff is not fake. It's real. It's something that I, I'm living with, with joy, but at the same time is such, so much inside. That's, you know, when people feel like they have so much inside and they don't know how to express it, it's that. That is you. Every single one of us in this world, universe, whatever you want to put a word to anything. Put whatever word you want to put to it. So I'm going to try to say this the right way. God itself didn't come out and say, hey, Dan, tell the world about me. But I felt it and I feel it. I feel God. I understand creation. My senses have optimized to the point where, where they need to be. I don't need to be able to perform amazing physical tasks. What would that do? Get me monetary gain? Get me social status and liked by people? That isn't the goal. True divinity has no anything. It has no rule. It can do. It would do. I know I could apply myself and I'm very agile and coordinated and I, and I could do all kinds of cool, amazing physical feats. Not important anymore. Training for wrestling and all that kind of stuff, all that stuff it means nothing anymore. I mean, that was years and years ago and I never did it for because of my family and I started and I did really good, but then I didn't because of family and it just wasn't the right time. Divorce, friends dying, all kinds, you know, stuff like that. Whatever. That's for a reason. I wasn't meant to follow some physical, violent path. Not sure why I thought I was. That was such a long time ago. It seems like that person wasn't even me. And also such a long time ago that the person that robbed stuff and committed crimes and got in fights, that, that wasn't even me either. But then at the same time, you tell people are like, it was though. I did those things. Oh my God. But when you've experienced all things, all things, I'm not joking. Like I am Tesla. Although I am his worst enemy, and I'm his dog, and his cat, and his armpit flakes that died the cells. I mean, it sounds really stupid to say stuff like that, but I want to simplify it to its grossest terms sometimes, because words can give you pictures, and I don't want to paint perfect pictures, because it's not quote unquote perfect as we would say, because there's the gross, and there's the great. There's the best and the worst. It's just the way it is. If you didn't have it, how would the other be? You can't have anything that's one-sided. But God itself wants me to express it to the world because we're ready for it. We don't have to listen to the government. And see, if I go to tell people about this stuff, it's because they have a hard time believing it because they themselves can't see themselves as that important, as that monumental, as that whatever words you can put to it, extraordinary. <laughs> they are... They've been here, and everything that makes them up has been here since beginning of what time is time. Beginning of what mass is mass, and space is space. What makes them up is that. Being able to express through communication now. Through the bodies that it's gone through. Using elements. We are elemental beings. Spiritual beings in elemental bodies. Put it that way. Spiritual beings and elemental bodies. I, I think that's the best way to see it. Made up of the environment, but our elements have combined together to make our environment. So, and our spirit modules, I don't know what you want to call them. I mean, I'm trying to think of different words because there's so many words out there that people use, but there's something different about spirit. It's a hard thing to put into picture for people when you can't use your heightened senses. I mean, people are so used to looking at a, a cell phone or a screen or an iPad or an an eye touch or whatever they might have, or a Samsung, or a, I don't know, whatever they're all called. They're so busy doing that and being occupied 
by watching some other idea that they're not even having their own. They're only having opinions on those other people's ideas or those programs. And half of them are just replays and replays and replays. You just pick something that somebody made a long time ago. And a lot of people make things that they don't really put their heart and soul into. They just put it in there and to do it because it looks good and they're good at it. And I don't, I'm not trying to discredit anybody. But let's start looking at the right things and loving the right things. God itself wants me to express what it is and let people know that that's what they are. That's what God really is. All religions and all spiritual practices are products of God too. Just a different version in space and time having a different experience. And maybe it was a poor child in a third world country and never got to express much. And maybe it was a well-known world leader who led us to, to fame and glory or led us to demise or was a tyrant, whatever. They're all just that. They're all our original source finally getting to express itself in the best way possible with balance. But anyway, that's all. So until next time, I love you.